Pitt's A-list celebrity story was, and Brad Pitt was with Angelina Jolie a few years back, he was in Glasgow, he hired a whole intercity train to take him all the way down, I'm sure he whistled through Tilden Parkway. On the way through to wherever he stopped, Bodmin Parkway, who knows, Exeter? No, not Exeter, I don't think he did. No, no, it's cool. Um, and, uh, and he did something there, which, uh, which people in Cornwall talk about to this day. Brad Pitt publicly at Cornish Pasty. <laughs> and this is how it went down. Then out of the limo came the famous pit leg, followed by the famous pit head, which carried the distinctive pit jaw that drove the tightly packed crowd into an almost hysterical Brad Pitt roar. Brad Pitt pasty, Brad Pitt pasty, Brad Pitt pasty, eat, eat, eat! <laughs> But first he opined on his life's great lessons. Quantitative easing, global recession, he talked of tantra and then of karma. He blessed the fishermen and farmers. He clenched his fist to the ex-miners and then sparred with one of his burly minders and then danced a hornpipe in the street <laughs> and declared, I think it's time to eat. And the crowd hushed as he stepped forward and threw back his mane of long hair. And then with a punch of the air, he roared like an ancient Greek warrior is thought to have roared before sinking his perfect pearl white teeth into the large golden brown steak pasty. And again he struck, and again and again until the battle with the pasty was complete, leaving the front of his mohair cashmere mix black physique hugging jumper, completely covered in the flakiest of Cornish pasty pastry, his thick beard full of diced swede, and a liberal scattering of potato, and telltale flecks of a fatty brown pasty residue all over the front of his white Pierre Cardin travel trousers. <laughs> But did Brad Pitt care a jot? Oh no, not he. I am a movie star, he said. I could have anything. I have Angelina Jolie, the most desirable woman in the world. I have a horde of children, each owning their own Shetland pony. Plus, I have unbridled wealth. Only the other day I hired a whole intercity train to, train to bring us all from Glasgow to London and beyond. But even I, with all of that, I, Brad Brad Pitt, star of Oceans 11 and 12, have to freely admit that this hearty parcel of meaty nutrition, known commonly and protected under EU law as the Cornish pasty, was undoubtedly a meal in itself. <laughs> Now, um, I think with, um, I think there's one thing that we, we don't like with celebrities is when they start moaning about things. It's so tiresome. You know, we say, look, you've got all this stuff, you wanted to do it, you, everybody's looking at you and now you're moaning about the whole thing. We don't like moaning celebrities, but we have very little sympathy for them. But the, 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 the area of celebrity that I think where, where I have boundless sympathy is for celebrity animals. <laughs> because they've got no egos, have they? You know, they're not, they're not, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't go up the greasy pole, they didn't sleep their way to the top, did they? <laughs> they didn't fuck over other animals to get, to get where they, you know, to get to the point where they were juggling or balancing something on their nose or whatever they might be doing. They didn't do any of that, you know. So when something goes wrong for a, uh, Celebrity animal. I've got, I've got loads of time for them. So this is probably my favourite celebrity story of all, and it's, um, it's a, and it comes from a, um, a newspaper headline in Scotland, in Lanarkshire, and the headline said, "Dog drives tractor." 
dog drives tractor. The dog's name is Don. And Don has bought a collie. And apparently Don, he got hold of the tractor, drove off, smashed through the fence onto the M74, drove up the carriageway before losing control of the vehicle. And uh, he was picked up by the farmer that he lived with, who took him home, and that was that. But, and of course, but if you look deeper into these things, you know, there's, always a, there's always another story at the bottom of it. But of course, anyone here who knows uh, about, you know, there are, there are very, very intelligent dog breeds. How many dog owners have we got here? You know, you see, so, so we know, so name, uh, name uh, um, uh, uh, an intelligent dog breed. Border Collie. Poodle. Shih Tzu, yeah, Shih Tzu, Border Collie, and Poodle. Um, and Don indeed was a Border Collie. And Border Collies we know, they're working dogs, 